Rob Palenka told a story to the Lakers team. And this was while Dwayne Johnson was there. The Rock was there speaking to the team. And Palenka gets up in front of everybody and he starts telling them about Kobe. Kobe is one of his, uh, it really his most well-known client. Palenka was an agent before he became the GM of the Lakers. He's the one that ran Magic Johnson off, etc. Right? So Palenka is up telling a story to everybody and he says, you know, Kobe went to see the Dark Knight. And he saw how in tune with the character, how locked in Heath Ledger was into being the Joker. And he asked me to set him up a meeting with Heath Ledger to learn how he does that. And he used some of that knowledge that he got from the meeting with Heath Ledger to uh, to play really well in Madison Square Garden that night in New York. The only issue is that Heath Ledger died six months before the movie was released. So... Exactly where does where does this meeting take place? I mean, Kobe would have had to have seen uh, rough cuts, right? Like, what is Palinka even thinking? And we all get it, right? Agents tell these stories, and it's all you you gotta you gotta do a fact checker on it, right? It's what everybody's zoning with Donald Trump. Like some of this stuff, eh, maybe it isn't quite so true. Uh, maybe that's not exactly how it went down. But you're talking about putting Kobe at dinner with a guy that died six months before that movie came out. And on top of that, the the game against the Knicks was a year before. I think it was November of 08 or 07. And the, the movie didn't come out until July of the next year. So unless he had seen some really crazy edits of the movie, like not even the actual movie itself, there's no way that this story could be legit. And yet, he gets up in front of a group of people and tells them this story. Like, maybe get your, your facts in order or pick a different celebrity or something to come up with rather than using that example, right? People love hearing stories. But when it's just completely patently false, it don't help anybody. That's just one of the many things that comes out of this article uh, there was something else about Josh Hart saying that they shouldn't take Amari Spellman uh, that has blown up. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. Go over to ESPN.com. Uh, it is Lakers 2.0 uh, the reboot, like has failed or whatever, the failed reboot of the NBA's crown jewel. It's Baxter Holmes. Uh, you can find him at Baxter on Twitter. But go check that thing out. It is a fantastic and fascinating read. Rob Palenka is an absolute disaster. So there is no telling what's going to go on with LeBron out there now, but whew, that is that is something else. 